really like you and Bruce kind of broke out big around the same time frame, 83, 84. Oh, and the only reason I ever got to know anybody in the band or Bruce is because of that time frame. I was at Giant Stadium and the I think it was St. Elmo. No, St. Elmo's Fire had not come out. I hadn't made St. Elmo's Fire because I knew I was going to be playing the saxophone. That's right. You were a sax player in that. And I was a huge Bruce fan. So obviously I loved Clarence, loved the big man. And I was like going to pattern a lot of my shtick after the big man, the way I wore my saxophone. Okay. Like a guitar strap instead of on the front. Right. Is just a total ripoff from Clarence. And um, I was in the stadium and people were excited to see me and they were kind of, they were yelling my name in Giant Stadium. It was like a really weird, How did that wonderful. Feel? I was going to say, it was how did that was exhilarating feel? and also embarrassing because I was like, it's, it's a Bruce show. They, they hadn't come out yet, in fairness. Okay. So, so they, it wasn't like they were saying Rob over Bruce, but they were making a quite a, Seen, like they would if Bieber was there today, right. or Harry Styles. You know, it was that thing. I was yeah. that guy then, and um, and I think it was Nils' wife at the time took pity on me and says, "You, you want to go backstage for a minute?" And I was like, "Thank you," because I was alone. I went alone. 